Good morning. It's lacrosse season. We're here at the Mary Institute in St. Louis Country Day School's McCreary Field, where the MICDS Rams face off against the Lafayette Lancers in an under-15 boys lacrosse game. With me now is the referee, Sean Latino. Sean, you, as a lacrosse referee, are hired to officiate games for all different age levels, college men, high school guys, and under 15 boys youth. How does it differentiate in a game like today with the younger boys on the field? Well, the younger players, it tends to be a lot more action going on um, because they're young at the sport, uh, a lot more mistakes are being made. You really have to... You have to work probably five times harder than you would in a normal game. The United States Lacrosse Men's Rules Subcommittee recently put out a points of emphasis and encourages officiates to call penalties for violations such as checks to the head and neck, cross-checking unnecessary roughness, cross-check holding. Could you explain these violations and their penalties and illustrate the calls. Yes, sure, of course. Uh, for example, uh, this year, uh, they found out through the last couple of years that there were a lot of injuries to the head because a lot of these kids, even the uh, even the older kids, the high school kids, uh, were uh, doing uh, committing these checks, and when they follow through with their checks, their stick would slide off people's arms or shoulders and go into their heads. So we had a lot of concussions going on, uh, and in order to protect uh, the kids they decided to increase the penalty time so whereas uh, before if you just did a simple cross check to somebody and hit them in the back with your stick this way you know instead of getting a one minute penalty now if that stick slides and goes up and hits somebody to the head it'll be a two to three minute non-releasable uh, penalty which means if a goal is scored you still stay in the penalty box my advice to parents especially with the younger kids who are taking the cross would be just uh, you know focus on Keeping your body healthy, flexibility is key, stretching, right? The key to longevity is flexibility. Uh, not getting injured is a really important thing too because in lacrosse, if you get an injury, uh, maybe somewhat like football, like a knee or something, it can hamper your uh, career for the rest of your life, you know, so you want to make sure you just don't get hurt. And the important thing of course is, is to just always cross train, not just play lacrosse, but play other sports. Take your vitamins, eat good food, get plenty of rest, and um, that's pretty much it. Well, Sean Latino, thank you very much. Have a great game today. Pleasure, Bradley. I'm Bradley Tolpin, and here we are at MICDS. Let's play lacrosse.